August 3, now who's champ? After enduring hard training, Israel Madrimov has emerged with a genuinely astonishing body, much like the legendary Marvel character the Hulk with his fearsome new look. Medramov is issuing a clear signal, which may bow disaster for Terence Crawford. The USC fighter claims that a single punch from him could pose serious problems for Crawford. Madov has even suggested that Crawford might want to reconsider continuing the fight and consider yielding instead. We know that Terence Crawford aims to become a world champion in a fourth division on August 3rd when he steps up to face Israel Madov. No one is denying Crawford that right or his goal but he needs to remember the tremendous opponent he is up against. Madrimov has been training with such passion and determination that his muscles have become as hard as rock. Crawford's goal to add another championship to his impressive career is admirable, but facing someone as well-prepared and physically conditioned as Madrio presents a significant challenge to his quest. Madrio's rigorous training regimen and rock-solid physique suggest that he will not be an easy adversary to overcome. Can you imagine someone who could defeat a guy like Madreyev? Even boxing experts have suggested that only a miracle could save Crawford. Israel Madoff, a career-long super welterweight, boasts an impressive record of 10-0, with seven of those victories coming by way of early finishes. His latest triumph saw him capturing the belt by stopping the formidable Magomed Kurbanov to meet. That record speaks volumes about his skill and power. In the ring, such a record is no joke and signifies the caliber of a truly elite fighter. Everyone agrees that facing an opponent of Madrimov's tea store requires exceptional preparation and dedication. If you are going to stand a chance against someone with his level of talent and tenacity, your training regimen cannot be anything less than extraordinary. It should be meticulously planned and executed, matching the standards set by the greatest fighters in the sport. Anything short of this would be inadequate. Given Madov's proven track record and the formidable challenge he represents now, it appears that Terence Crawford is not taking this upcoming match seriously recently. He has been caught up in a shenanigan with a reporter engaging in antics. Instead of focusing on his training, the fact that he is spending his time fooling around with a reporter rather than dedicating himself to rigorous preparation raises serious concerns about his commitment. I see no dedication in such behavior, if Crawford truly aspires to reach the pinnacle of his career and sees the top spot he needs to put an end to this nonsense. Engaging in distractions and failing to prioritize his, his training will only hinder his chances of success to compete at the highest level, especially against formidable opponents Crawford. Must demonstrate unwavering focus and commitment. Anything less will jeopardize his goals and his standing in the sport. As I have said before, Israel Madreyev looks like a Hulk. But it's not just me who thinks so. Fans recently analyzed the size difference when an in-in picture of Uzbekistan Medramov began making the rounds on social media. These fans are absolutely convinced that when the fight takes place, Madoff will emerge victorious. Crawford believes that Madriov's great physique and fighting style can be used to his advantage. He trusts in his expertise, tactical power, and the rigorous training he has done to prepare for this contest. Madriev's punches are too slow and broad to concern me. I'm not concerned with his big build at all. It's talent and technique that win fights, and I have plenty of both. This idea has been reinforced by none other than Virgil Ortiz. Jure himself, Ortiz predicts an early knockout victory for Terence Crawford in his title challenge against WBA junior middleweight champion Israel Madrio on August 3rd. That's the actual reason I say Crawford will get him. I have been in the ring with him. Crawford is going to get him in less than seven says. Ortiz, when it comes to his opponent's powerful physiques. Ortiz is unconcerned. He isn't concerned at all about the physical size or strength of his opponent. And his confidence is built in his observations of Terence Crawford, who has repeatedly demonstrated that he can overcome fighters who are substantially larger and stronger than himself. Ortiz feels that while physical traits can occasionally play a part, they are not the only determinant of success in the ring. For him, the core of the fight extends beyond simple muscular bulk and physical presence. I'm not concerned with Madriev's muscular physique. I know Crawford has beaten guys with the same build, and I'm confident in his own skills and training. It's not about the muscles. 
It's about who brings the better game to the ring. When Madame heard the comments about his potential fight with Crawford, he chose not to address them directly, instead expressing his desire to fight Canelo Alvarez next. This response tells us that Madrimov is extremely confident in his abilities and believes strongly in his chances of beating Yes. I realize that he has a lot of confidence, which is excellent, but it's vital for him not to let that confidence become excessive. Sometimes a fighter's demise isn't due to a lack of confidence, but rather because their overconfidence leads them to underestimate their opponent. Overlook important areas of their preparation. Medrimov needs to establish a balance. Keep a strong sense of self-belief, but also remain grounded and realistic about the problems he faces now. Let's turn our attention to the spectators and their thoughts on this match. The majority of fans have been so accustomed to seeing Terence Crawford emerge victorious that the notion of him losing to anyone, including my fantasy, seems almost unfathomable to them. If Madrimov were to be the first fighter to defeat Crawford, it would definitely shock many and question their long-held expectations. Unfortunately, it is typically the case that fighters will suffer defeat eventually if they persist in the sport long enough, variables such as taking regular pauses. Aging and carelessly moving up weight classes in pursuit of higher paydays can all contribute to a deterioration in performance. It's a natural element of the sport that fighters, despite their previous successes, it's worth noting that Crawford has been out of the ring for the past 12 months, primarily focused on celebrating his victory over Errol Spence. Additionally, he is moving up to a weight class where he has never fought before. Transitioning to a new weight class often requires adjustments in training strategy and overall conditioning, and these factors can impact a fighter's performance. So could this be a pot? After enduring hard training, Israel Madrimov has emerged with a genuinely astonishing body, much like the legendary Marvel character the Hulk with his fearsome new look. Madrimov is issuing a clear signal, which may bow disaster for Terence Crawford. The USC fighter claims that a single punch from him could pose serious problems for Crawford. Madov has even suggested that Crawford might want to reconsider continuing the fight and consider yielding instead. We know that Terence Crawford aims to become a world champion in a fourth division on August 3rd when he steps up to face Israel Madoff. No one is denying Crawford that right or his goal, but he needs to remember the tremendous opponent he is up against. Madrimov has been training with such passion and determination that his muscles have become as hard as rock. Crawford's goal to add another championship to his impressive career is admirable. But facing someone as well-prepared and physically conditioned as Madrio presents a significant challenge to his quest. Madrio's rigorous training regimen and rock-solid physique suggest that he will not be an easy adversary to overcome. Can you imagine someone who could defeat a guy like Madrio? Even boxing experts have suggested that only a miracle could save Crawford. Israel Madoff, a career-long super welterweight, boasts an impressive record of 10-0 with seven of those victories coming by way of early finishes. His latest triumph saw him capturing the belt by stopping the formidable Magomed Kurbanov to meet. That record speaks volumes about his skill and power. In the ring, such a record is no joke and signifies the caliber of a truly elite fighter. Everyone agrees that facing an opponent of Madrimov's T-Store requires exceptional preparation and dedication.